Hey, hello everybody! Uh, today I do a, a different video. I don't want to talk about the market. But later on, we will review what is happening regarding today. I'm still seeing a lot of anxiety about crash, market to crash, market to crash, market to crash. If you ask me if market will crash, I swear, I guarantee to you guys, I guarantee, guarantee, I really guarantee that market will crash, for sure. But when, I don't have idea. Because if I have an idea, you're supposed to be a billionaire. Because this will be the easiest, easiest, easiest crash ever. That's the most announced crash ever. And the most easy crash ever. Why I'm telling that? You guys look at my screen? A house? Because this is the most bigger bubble by design from central banks. Why I guarantee that market crash? Real estate stallions that market crash. You guys are seeing this property. It's a studio, the very small apartment, 4,300 square foot. They are rent here for $1,800 per month. This apartment was sold last year per $177, right? 1% of this apartment is $1,770. $1, so they are rent apartments everywhere in the US, especially in big cities like Texas and Miami, per 1% per month. Fabio, this is normal. No, no, and no, and no, and no again. The maximum, the maximum rent is 0.5%. This is the double of the maximum price. 1 point will be unsustainable and you see the crash. That's the easiest 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 crash ever announced. I'm a seller, I'm not a buyer. I'm selling an apartment, a luxury apartment in Brazil. I want to cash. I want to hold cash. And I you put my entire cash in a savings account or buy a CDI, a fixed income. And I you live over there. Guys, we cannot predict something that is totally unpredictable by us. Only dealers, you know, can create a black swan. Not us. Everybody, let me show some, some, some traders. One, one I know, this guy is cr totally crazy. But I, respect, I, I respect what he writes. Uh, Claudio, he's a Brazilian. He's a really nice guy. He was in the group before. And I use orders. So everybody, 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 it's not only Claudio, everybody, Everybody is looking for a big, big, big rally. 
so far oh, those draws are wrong because uh, junho means June last month last month you didn't born right but everybody is looking for you know Ahali any asset this one is like uh, gold yeah so this one is right because go gold is still going down but anyway and if you if you check you know uh, I'm just showing cloud because I know cloud so if you guys just Google or you know uh, in the Twitter everybody's looking for a huge melt up this will going to happen guys I'm not not Nostradamus. I'm not Nostradamus. I cannot predict the future. If I was able to predict the future, I suppose it'd be more rich than Warren Buffett, right? But I can't. I can't. And I, I also I don't like to put those graphs, especially, especially when real estate is showing us the big bubble ever. And real estate. Is the most solid market, right? It's the most solid market, and by standard, normal, the maximum profit, the the maximum that you can get per month if you you own a property is zero point five percent of the total value of your uh, real estate per month. Nowadays, I'm showing guys, just go to any Etrulia, Zillow, Hilton, and try to see, you know, how much they sell and how much they are, how much they sell and how much, you know, people are renting right now. It's plus 1% per month. And I'm keeping looking for retail to buy apartment. Remember that I'm, I told you guys that my wife is also selling properties and they started to to not sell to dealers but to sell to sell to retail because retail is keep buying because retail is really not understand what's going on 99% is not understand what's going on 99% let me rephrase 99% is understand but you know they are trying to make an interpretation that this is the new normal this is not the new normal this is not the new normal because the salaries are, are not following the prices. This is not the health inflation. Inflation is a health thing. When people have like good, people have jobs, have been paying well, right? And we don't have injection of liquidity money to the economy to the central banks. Nowadays, since 2008, right, the United States start to print money a lot. They have been injecting a lot of money to the system, to the economy, and trying, you know, to help the economy. And you guys have been seeing that it's not, it's not able to help. I also saw people just said, ah, I thought in my point of view, the COVID was the global reset. Fuck! When I list those thing, things, I said people doesn't have an idea what they talking about. Serious, you know. I guess people is like totally blind. People don't have an idea what they are talking about. And because of that you see in retail, you keep buying real estate. They are wrong. Not one percent per month. This is sustainable. Of course it's not. This is the same thing that you guys need to evaluate to invest your money. Because the pattern, the stand is 0.5%. Now it's 1%. Some places 2% per month. Totally unsustainable. And this is by design. What's happening? The dealers, the, the, the owners of the real estate, Prudential, uh, JP Morgan, whatever. They, you know, the Fe Federal Reserve is raising rates. They, they are raising mortgage rates 
And sometimes they have been controlling the inventory just to put a floor because they want to dump. So they, they are forcing also, you know, to rents is going up because they want to dump. So they are forcing people to buy and also to pay higher rates, higher monthly mortgage payment. A lot of people, I have been listening a lot. Oh, people will not sell because they have a lot of equity in their house. When I listen to this, I do, I, do, I do this. People don't have idea what they are talking about. People are not selling. First thing, they are locked in 2.3% APR. It, those that are locked in 2.3% APR, as I was locked, why those people will sell the house? Because they know if they sell, they you buy a new one, another one, with the same price, not the same price, maybe like higher price, right? Because the inventory, you know, is being balanced. It's the same price paying 7% APR. So they, wanna, they, they prefer to stay in their home. And if they have two houses, of course, they are selling one and holding cash. All my friends that have more than one property, like myself, are selling. No, are selling. Not buying. And holding money. When this shit is crash, I don't know. Nobody knows. And my humble opinion, my humble advice... Follow the flow. The best thing to do is follow the flow. You know, just, you know, build swing trades that you'll be able to open and close faster enough and try to absorb all the profits that the market is giving to us. To build a position nowadays is insane. It is crazy. It is crazy. Nowadays, for example, Selic, 13.5%. That's, you know, the Brazilian hates. It's a lot of premium. It's a lot of pre premium. You know, are you not be, how can I say, scared if in some point the, the, the U.S. Central Bank raised rates to, as Brazil, 13%? Are you not? So... Of course, this American system could you be became the new Japanese economic system, where where central banks down there have been injecting money every single day, buying yields to control the yields, selling dollars, buying dollars to control the their the currency. U.S. could you be the same, the Jay Powell, the new president of the. Yeah, they could be the same. They Obama is already fucked this up, and op, and of course Trump didn't was able to fix. They, I mean, he didn't. He didn't want to fix, right? I really don't understand why they have. Well, uh, Trump has a lot of fans. I really don't understand because the the Obama fans are not rate. I'm sorry, Trump fans. I I don't know why Trump have a lot of fans supporters. Because the Trump supporters hate Obama. That doesn't make any sense to me. If you they love Trump, they're supposed to be love Obama too. Because Trump didn't do anything. He just, you know, keep what Obama built. And what Obama built? This big bubble. When this bubble is gone. But, you know, Ray Dalio called that the easiest call ever. Easiest call ever. We need a global reset. Of course, we need a global reset. Reset. The real state is screaming every day to everybody. Sell, sell, sell. We will crash. When? They cannot. I mean, the real state will not tell us. But they tell you. They tell you everybody. We will crash. Every, every day before you go to the bed, if you go to Zillow, uh, Trulia, Hilton, you know the real state to you, you whisper in your, your ear, we will crash. If you every day before you go to sleep and go to check in those, you know, Hilton, Zillow, whatever, 
day you talk to you, whisper in your ear, we will crash. Every day, we will crash. And of course you will. Of course you will. No. When? Sorry. Nobody knows. So we cannot try to guess. Remember what I told you guys today? I mean, on Sunday. Of course that I expected, you know, uh, I mean, the markets didn't close yet. So I expect a back test at 4,420. 4, But I really highlighted to you guys that we have a gamma imbalance. See, uh, in, in the third paragraph, it's important to note that you have gamma imbalance. What's gamma imbalance means? The deal is absorbed, you know, all the short calls, short puts, long calls, long puts, I mean, major like short calls, short puts from institutionals. You know, I also seated you know, the, the JP Morgan caller because he's, is the hedge that everybody follow. So, do you think that JP Morgan sold $229 million for retail in calls, strike for $1,320? No, he, he sold for a dealer, to a dealer. So, dealer was extremely long because that the fools miss a lot, for example, Saint Croissant. He, he, he came in public and said, the markets go up and volatilities go up. I told you guys, I'm not expert in volatility, but I told you guys, he's wrong, he's wrong, he's wrong, he's wrong. You saw that, you know, the VIX came from 20 to 12 and closed at 13.59. Why? Because dealers were long. Heavily long. And I explained to you guys, here, here, dealers are collecting money. Who are the dealers? JP Morgan is a dealer. JP, not, not the fund, JP Morgan fund. The treasurer, department of the bank. This is JP Morgan. Guys, if you check the HKLA versus liability, I also put this in, 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 in our chat long time ago. But try to Google. Some people just saw I also uh, post this a lot. The HKLA versus liabilities. You guys you realize that both are in all time high. And you guys know that you, the, the, the treasury banks hold a lot of tax, for example. They hold a lot of stocks, for example. So if you know they sell at $3,400, then you sell cheaper and the higher liability is not going down. So you see unbalanced. The spread nowadays is really tight, really, 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 really tight. I you try to find out, you know, the Federal Reserve website that we track both, and you guys see that the spread is really tight. I guess it's less than 1%. So this is not healthy. And I really don't understand how those banks pass in the Federal Reserve stress test. For me, that's fucking a bullshit as a joke. Okay? It's a bullshit as a joke. So, as soon as you know, bring market up, then you force people to buy from them, and consequently, their HKLA starts to go up, 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 up. And maybe they spread, you know, became wide between HKLA and I liability, liabilities. Because they know that the Federal Reserve will not cut rates. If they, they cut rates, the liability is supposed to be going down because it's indexed to the Federal Reserve rates. Otherwise, if they know that doesn't, I mean, if the, the central bank didn't cut rates, the liability is still going up. So they need the HKLA going up also. Right? The real estate every single day is whispering to your ear, we will crash, we will crash, we will crash. This is the most easily crash ever. But guys, don't try to guess. And I, I told you everybody since 2020, 
Nobody will be able to get this crash. They will not allow to people get this crash. They will not, you know, reward, you know, retail. Only a few that will build a bunch of options structured will be will be able to uh, to get the crash. Everybody now is looking for four thousand five hundred twenty. It makes sense look for 4,520, but will you crash from there? I don't know. Why people is looking for 4,420? I already posted this graph before to you guys. Because nobody looks the monthly graph. Everybody looks intraday. Because, you know, markets do not teach you guys to look long time frames so if you look for the yearly graph 12 months why 4521 it's a, a key point first of all if you check monthly graph this is a year graph if, I'm, if you check a monthly graph we have a pivot per monthly graph we have a supply zone start at 4500 and go up to 4000 I, I, I already I already uh, document this in my graph. So we have a supply zone that started at 4,465 4, and go up to 4,505. But in another hand, you have 4,420 as the top line of the bullying band. Look how wide it is. Look how wide it is. Let me just put the remove the indicators. This is not, this is not normal. And if you go, you know, below, uh, up to the pass, you know, this is never, ever, you know, had a movement or never, ever had, you know, a bullying band like this. This is totally unhealthy. I also suggest you guys a Fibonacci because, you know, the volume started back in 2009. We need to check the monthly graph. Right, and you guys see if you try to put you know 2009 as the bottom, and this guy that's supposed to be a pivot as the 14.6, you see that you know the Fibonacci takes us up to 6,000 something, 6,169. I guess a lot of people that you draw uh, Elliott wave is looking for SPX at 6,000 in some point. So it looks like that, you know, they test almost the 78.6 region and then we start a downtrend. If you check, if you compare to Bitcoin, for example, you know, the SP500 SP even back test the EMA8 in the annual graph, even get closer. It's totally an un unhealth movement. Who is controlling that? Of course, the Federal Reserve. I don't have doubt. When they you allow you know to market to have a free life, I don't know. When the market will crash, I don't know. But that's the easy call, guys. Guys, that's the easy call. The real estate is screaming every single day. We will crash. We will crash. We will crash. But we need to follow the flow. We will not get. We'll be able to get the crash. If you guys. Is Start, you know, to guess, you know, to guess every time this will be the top and you short and the markets go against you guys, you guys, you lose a lot of money, right? You guys, you lose a lot of money. You guys, you know, expend all your editors to try to guess, you know, a crash. And you have behind a central bank that have infinity resource that could you keep pushing the market and hide the issue and postpone the issue up to when? Nobody knows. Fractal people doesn't know. Elliot Waves people doesn't know. We need to follow the flow. Sometimes you will miss the read of the flow because they could you control true liquidity. For example, if your market closed at 4,455, I will be humble enough to tell you guys that I miss by a lot, right? Because we, uh, I, I was totally right about the open, 
But at the end, the markets went up and so far it's closing up, not down as the delta suggests. But of course, still uh, we have almost like 30 minutes and you could see a drop of 5.6 point and you see red. But they even test 4,420. That's the floor. That's the really the floor nowadays. That's the best place, you know, to try to be long nowadays. First of all, is the Delta One, right? With this really lower uh, implied volatility, right? With a higher Vega. So, tend to market, respect the Delta One and not break down, right? I told you guys, also, I, I, I almost avoid myself to give you an upside target. Because the delta is really clear in telling me that you is supposed to be red today, that I even put. But I also said, if you know I'm wrong, let's look for 75 and 78. But the market didn't close yet. Didn't close yet. We can could, could you lose like 10 points from here and you close at 4,445? I really believe in deltas, and delta is telling that supposed to be today to be a red. But we didn't back test 20 as I expected. Okay? I really expected, you know, uh, to be a uh, red day today. To close at least below 4,450. Uh, maybe, why not 40, 45? But something like between 40 and 45, that's totally reasonable to see a back test today. Unfortunately, I missed 4,420. But I told you guys to, to open spread, like I put spread. 4,420, right? So at 4,442 today, when we see the bottom, we supposed to be open a spread, a put spread, and right now we could collect premium, right? Unfortunately, the call, I told you what, which call do you guys play? 4,475, see? The best one, I told you guys, 75 to 85, more, more risk, 4550. So 4550 nowadays is not playing well. But we still have time. We still have time. If it's not play well when you guys open this, this spread, you're supposed to be roll out and buy a in the money call to neutralize deltas. Otherwise, you guys will lose money. Okay? But the put spread is perfect. And so far, 75 and 85 is also perfect. Right? The only one that's not working out is 45.50. But we still have time to see a 10 points uh, drop. That's totally reasonable, totally reasonable. Guys, I finish right by, I, I finish here, I, I, I talk too much, but please guys, don't try to guess tops. We really don't know when we will start to see a reversal. Be careful with things to which gurus, they look for subscribers. They look for investors. They make money using your money, not their money. Okay? You guys have been realized since January how those furus have given you wrong calls. Of course, they do not change their ideology because they want to, you know, be acceptive. They... If they miss 100, but, you know, they accept, they, they will be acceptive in one, they will be highlighted just because this one shot. But they lose almost all the bullets, right? But nobody will remember the past, only the present. Take care, guys.